forgive me. You came, but you I did not embrace. I named thee Daya. And embrace thee as my daughter. In one day's time, Daya should turn into a lubberkin. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Alright guys, welcome back. It's Soul Seeker D. We've got more Witcher 3 with me and this cute little baby lubberkin floating by me. We're gonna do some investigatory things here together. So I'm gonna wander around and we'll get started. So let's see. Use Witcher senses. Hmm. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Hmm, what's this? One of them must have dropped it. Dropped it or placed it down? Let's see. Horseshoes? Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Didn't I not just check out a horseshoe? Excuse me, let me loot. Aha! Clothing. What's this? They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Okay, they changed clothes. Do I go back and talk to you, little lovers? Um. Wants to show me something more. All right, let's go, lovey loves. Wonder where it's going. Somewhere I'm probably gonna get murdered. Are you gonna betray me, little baby? Yes, you are. Hey, everyone, look at this screen while I fight. Just kidding. Exploding. Oh. Hey. This is horrid. I don't want to do this anymore. <gasps> Why did I put my sword away? I'm not that kind of fighter, dude. Nor do I need my horse. Dude, you are a dummy. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. Back up! Ah! I apologize. I don't know what's wrong with him and me sometimes. He just wanted to bear knuckle bones fight, which is weird on his part. I don't understand. I apologize. Girls, you and I need to talk, buddy. All right, baby lovies, I'm coming. I'm sorry. These guys tried to murder me, and there's more of them, aren't there? Hey, sorry. Ooh, look at this. Look how pretty. Okay. You're stopping here, aren't you? What do you want to show me, baby loves? I have to kill this thing, don't I, before you talk to me. All right, little baby. Aha. Thank you. What do we have I'm... here? Ooh. Bones have been here a while. Uh, ooh, a head. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. <gasps> oh, horsey, not looking. I thought it was a person's head. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages elite anything these days. Uh, ribs? Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. <sighs> what is it then? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Hmm. All right. Let's summarize. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. 
Oh. It goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. All right, babies. All right, let's go. This is kind of creepy following the floaty baby, but I'm down. I see something's following me. I saw you. Why are you guys trying to attack me? I wasn't even like bothering anyone. I was just going along my own way, following my floaty baby friend. What are you looking for, floaty baby friend? Oh. A town? Ooh. It's getting mighty windy, huh? Alright. Let's see. Huh. Shiny. Alright, baby love love. What is it? A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. No problem. Let me start with that. Go in here? Is that what you said, baby? Rob the fisherman? Okay. Hey, I'm playing. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. Witcher. What do you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. You knows lots. Just need information. Looking for two women. The bloody baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Yeah. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though uh -oh. anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger Aww. for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Huh. Uh, I want to know about the marks. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Oh, wow. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent Creepy. all of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. Okay. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the debt? Owed Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. 
we thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Good person. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. No. Oh. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? Mm, I'll do what I can to see that she is. Yeah. Oh, this is, I have to go back to the Baron? Can I loot your hut? Thanks. I know you guys are poor, but you gotta spare something for the Witcher, right? Thank you. You guys are good Witcher friends. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna just stand right behind you, sir. Come on. That's it. I'm sad. Oh, hello, baby. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Thank you, Dea. Okay. So I have to go back to the Baron. Alrighty, well, I think I'm all right. Oh man, it's so pretty, look at this. Oh, I love it. I don't wanna go talk to the Baron, I wanna enjoy the beauty of this land and not be a witcher for a minute. Just relax, kick back, find a hut, marry, have a family. No, just kidding, let's go talk to the Baron. <laughs>